Well, it's great to be here this morning at the 8th Space Symposium with Karen Andrews, who is a mechanical engineer, and I've often said the Parliament needs more engineers and less lawyers uh, because that drives a structured approach to things like investment in space and technology. And Minister, can you tell the South Australian people what this means for our state, particularly the announcement of our partnership with NASA? Well, there are so many space-related things that are just happening right here in South Australia. And ultimately, that's going to lead to growing the South Australian economy, growing the Australian economy, and creating more jobs. So we've just announced $150 million that will be injected into our young and emerging businesses, our established businesses, to grow our space capability so that we can work alongside NASA on their Moon to Mars trip. So this is money for Australian businesses and Australian organisations to support the Moon to Mars missions. Uh, Minister, we've just heard this morning that Tyvac has announced the creation of a factory to manufacture nanosets here in South Australia and they are optimistic on the uh, strength of their work in the US and Europe, that they will grow that workforce fairly rapidly, plus up to around 100 people. What are you seeing around the country in terms of jobs being created right now as a result of this government's focus on space? Well, we already have a space sector that's worth about $4 billion to the Australian economy and already employs 10,000 people. So the announcements that the federal government has made, particularly over the last 12 months, which are in the order now of about half a billion dollars, are really helping grow the space sector here in Australia. So advanced manufacturing, the manufacture of nanosatellites is already happening here. Robotics automation is already happening here. All of the money that we're putting in is to grow Australian jobs.